another 20 years in Africa. If they keep doing what they're doing right now, another 20 years. So you've been years. keeping up? America, Europe, all the countries right. out there are going to be begging just to kiss Africa's ass. Oh, they're going to be like, hey, uh, you know, <laughs> the world really did start in Africa. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> They really didn't have the blonde hair and the, and the blue eyes. They were really black. They was they were really black. Um, can you tell your black people I'm cool? Like, <laughs> I'm tired of trying to be like them when their entire history has been trying to be like us. Wow. This, there is one um, uh, topic here. I want to talk about it. It's, it's, it's very beautiful. It's um. It's just amazing. Now, uh, Miss Trudy was in the street of America, and she was asking. Uh, what American thinks of Africa and there is this uh, one black black American uh, said these things and yo this is the thing I've been wanting to say all my life this is the thing that does listen to this I want to know um, what do you think of Africa uh, it's, it's a mother country so you know you gotta love it gotcha. you know um, personally I'd actually move back to Africa. Really? So, yeah, definitely. Which country would you want to move to? Uh, Nigeria. Ooh, that's what's up! Uh, that's Nigeria right there! It already know Nigeria! I don't remember who was saying it, but they were saying like, um, since they're running us from the country so bad, you know, like why not just move back there and just build up that country, you feel me? Like instead of trying to fight for a country that everybody don't want us in. Oh, wow. But, well said. I, like yeah. I feel like Nigeria is the most popular uh, African country, yes. but we'll see as we go. If you had any message to Africans, what would that be? Hey, power to the people and just keep your head up, man. You feel me? They can't fight a older black man or woman down. You feel me? Oh, That's it. I love that. Thank you. Yeah. Another 20 years in Africa. If they keep doing what they're doing right now, another 20 So you've been keeping up? America, Europe, all the countries all right. out there are going to be begging just to kiss Africa's ass. That's true. What? I no. love that. No, 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 no. Yeah. 20 years, just yeah. watch. Yeah. <laughs> as long as they keep fighting for themselves and not everybody else, stop fighting for everybody else. Fight for yourself, Africans. Fight for yourself. Everybody else can kiss your ass. 20 years, the king. 20, 20 years, take you guys, life. your money, your denomination, your, your religion, your history will be in every school. Just wait and see. Oh, man. Just wait and see. Oh. <laughs> they won't hide it no more. They're going to be like, hey, uh, you know, <laughs> the world really did start in Africa. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> They really didn't have the blonde hair and the, and the blue eyes. They were really black. They was they was really black. Um, can you tell your black people I'm cool? Like, they <laughs> start saying that. They doing it right now. They start saying that. Yo, they, they do that in this country Just right wait. now. I want to see white people say, "Look, man, I get my social security. I get my my section eight. I don't care about nobody else. Look at them black people. Look, look where they live. That's what I want to hear. That's what's up. I want to hear. I'm sick and tired of just trying to look at what they're doing and trying to be like them. I'm tired of trying to be like them when their entire history has been trying to be like us. Wow. Yep. Oh my God. Their whole history has been trying to be like us. Mm -hmm. Trying to be powerful like we were. Like we are, not we're. We just don't know our own strength right now. The problem is, look, I'm going to tell you like this, right? What we are doing right now, we are going backwards in our own evolution, in our own history, in our own We're going backwards. We de-evolving. The reason why? Because we think this European lifestyle is so freaking great. It isn't. Our history, the Caribbean, Africa, we don't send our parents to a nursing home. They stay there until they die. They stay home until they die. And they get buried in the We backyard. take care of our aunts. Yeah. We take care of our uncles. Right. We take care of everybody home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Here, uh, mama forgot my birthday. Nah, send her home. Send, send, her, send her over there. Send her over there. We ain't gonna even gotta see her no more. We don't live like that. No. Uh -huh. Now, welcome back. Africans, we need to fight for ourselves. And the thing that has caught my ears that I'm happy she he, I'm happy he said it is that 
What the hell are we trying to be like them? Why every day are we fighting to be the, like the white people? Why don't we uh, want to be like us, the black people? And it's very true. It's very evident that in the history, the white people have been trying to be like us, black people, all along. They want to be like the black people. They want to have the immune of the black people. They want to have kids with the black people. They want to know the history of the black people. They want to know the God of the black people. They want the black people country. They want to be like us. But as, Af as, the, as Africans, our eyes are closed. Every day we are, we are fighting to be like the, the white people. And they know the truth. They know the truth that we are the best and they want to be like us. So every day they keep on, uh, they keep on closing our eyes and, you know, pretending like they are the best. But they know we are the best. So I'm looking forward. It's high time Africans. Here said this, in the next 20 years, Africans will be another level. Because he is saying, and which it's true, that if we fight for ourselves... If Africa start fighting for themselves and we be united and we, we we stop trying to be like them, in the next 20 years, Africa will be big. Our money, our education, our history, our religious, it will be big. But 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 if we, we, we live in this stage of trying to be like the white man, uh, trying to kiss the white man, uh, we will live like this 100 years to come another the generation will come and live like this 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 man wherever he is he's supposed to be given a, a nobel peace prize or oh, not nobel just a, just a, a, just a gold medal just a medal because he has said something important keep fighting for africa you see as the africans we always abandon africa a lot of people have abandoned africa like I grew up here in 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 in, in Maui, Tatu village, Kakamega County. I grew up in western uh, western of uh, of uh, of Kakamega, western of Kenya. I grew up there. I I went to school there in western. I in my village. I I you know I I finished my school there, both levels. Now because. I want greener pasture. I'm trying to run out of my village. I'm going to the city of Nairobi. Now I have abandoned this this city. This are my village, and I have the mind. I have read. I have education. I I am capable. I have the manpower. I have the ideas to to, to make sure that my, uh, my my province here in Western, my county, is going great. But we run from our origin. Now we go to to to, to, to Nairobi to the city. We 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 we. We put the business in the city. We, you know, our money circulated just in the city. And the city is in another, another county. That's what's happening. So I abandoned my village to go to the city. Now my village, 10 years, 20 years, will still be the same. Same two sh shops at the center. No electricity. No roads. But if I could just remain here and uh, put my effort here, Maybe in 10 years I could have some, you know, could come together as the people of that village and make something out of it. And that's what is happening in Africa. When, when, when you grow in Africa, you, 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 you are born in Africa, you grow in Africa, you learn in Africa. Now you are running away from Africa and, and you go and look for greener pasture somewhere else. Okay, you have found the greener pasture, but the money you're getting, you, 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 you're not coming to invest back in your village. You're investing in that city. That's what is happening. But if you fight for your village, if all of us, the people who learn in this village, we come together and fight for this village, I tell you, man, we will be just like that city. Just like that city. That's what is happening in Africa. We abandon Africa. We are fighting for other people. We fight for the euro we fight for the british everyone want to be paid in dollars and euros forgetting that we can have our money here in africa and be strong and everyone will be wanting to be paid with the african money that's what's going on salute to this guy whatever you said is just true africa we start fighting for ourselves 20 years to come 30 years to come we will be at the next level 
But with all this bullshit that's going on in, 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 in governments, the, the, the leaders we, we keep in power, we cannot succeed. We cannot make that happen. With all this, our presidents who are puppets to the, to the white people, if we continue doing like this, we can't go anywhere. We can't make a step. We will live at the same place. Instead of making a step, even you can make a step, one step at a time, but we will be making backward steps. And that's why, that's why uh, PLO Lumumba said that in the next 25 years, maybe, Africa will be recolonized. But if we open our eyes in the next 20 years, Africa will be big. <laughs> you see me here sitting here talking about Africa and the unity and whatever we need to do. It's not because, it's because I want that unity to be as Africa, as a Pan-African we need to come together. Now, we are in deep shit, in poverty until uh, 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 some people are organizing protest for, for end of bad governments, but some people are being paid with uh, rice and, 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 and yam to, to say no to protest. Now, they are counterattacking protest with the protest. <laughs> we are fighting for other people. We are fighting for the leaders. I saw a video where a, 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 a governor of Nairobi, Johnson Sakaja, was being stoned in toy market and uh, he was being shielded by some youths there. And the, 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 the youths were receiving the, the stones instead of Sakaja. We must stop fighting for other people. Let's fight for Africa. That's, that, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say that he, he, he should be stoned. Fight. Fight for Africa. These protests you see in Uganda, in Ghana, in Nigeria, is not because that we want to, to create good environment for Kenya only. No, it's important for Africa. This virus must go all across Africa. Do you know the reason why uh, good people, good leaders are always terminated? Do you know the reason why a leader who speaks, who has the interests of the people, who want Africa to unite, they always be terminated? It's because they fear. See how uh, every time uh, the, Buki, the Bukina Faso, the Bukinabe president, uh, Ibrahim Traora, is being targeted. They fear. The fear the white people has is great. We as black people, we are not the one who's supposed to, to be scared of Africa, of white people. The white people are supposed to be scared of black people. Because we are the source of human. I love the part when this guy say, uh, is looking at the, you know, can you tell the black people that, you know, I'm cool, I'm cool? <laughs> we want a day when the white people will want to be like black people. When the white people will come into Africa for the search of greener pasture. I know it will be not to today. It will be not be tomorrow. But I'm real. I'm for sure that one day, one day the white people will be coming in Africa to make, you know, in searching of greener pastures. One day the, 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 the Africa will be united and we'll have one currency and that currency will be the strongest across the continents. That one day all these resources that are, we will be with the one controlling the price of resources that are from Africa. That one day, I'm for sure that the military of these countries will be coming to train in Africa because Africa will have the best military. I'm looking forward for that. Tell me what you think on this, uh, what Americans think of Africans. This is a video that is of um, Miss Trudy. I love it. I loved that part. You can watch the full video on, 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 on her YouTube channel, but that part... It's amazing. Until next episode, peace be with you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.